accidentally formatted your SD card, dropped it in water or maybe even you removed it without ejecting it the right way and now your photos or videos are gone. As a content creator all of those things happen to me and most of the time you'll be able to recover everything. In this episode I'll show you how to recover your files from formatted SD card or corrupted SD card and 90% of the time you'll be able to recover everything. There are of course those 10% of the times where you have to send the SD card to some professionals or it's totally damaged and it will not work. But the chance to recover your files by yourself is really high. The first thing you have to do if you formatted your SD card is to take it out immediately from the camera or from any device where you formatted the SD card. The problem is if you record new footage on the formatted SD card the old footage will be removed and it will not be possible to be recovered. The second most common reason to lose your files from the SD card is when the SD cards become corrupt and the most common case is if you remove the SD card without ejecting it. I'm guilty of that too. I don't want to tell you how many SD cards and flash drives I destroyed in that way. For me what I noticed is that every 10 to every 15 time of removing the SD card in that way it's corrupting it. But you're still able to recover everything. And the second problem with the corrupted SD cards it's coming from the SD card reader. If you work a lot with SD cards, I highly suggest you to invest 20 to 40 dollars to get a quality SD card reader. That will save your life, nerves and money. Now let's plug the SD card to the computer and recover it. Okay, here is our SD card and I have three pictures here. So a nice lovely picture from Bali, a beautiful me and one more time picture of me holding the camera because I'm a really professional photographer. Now let's format it and see what we can recover and you're gonna be surprised but I'll be able to recover much more from that SD card than those three files. The next step is to go to your browser and dial anyrecover.com and download the program. In this episode I will not feature a free program and there is one really huge reason for that. I always struggled with the free programs. I don't know for Windows most probably there are more free options out there but for Mac the free programs I've tried they were really bad. So if you value your time I would highly recommend you to use a paid program no matter which one you're gonna use. The paid programs are much better than the free programs out there. It will save you nerves, time and most probably your files. So let me show you that program. When you launch the application it has really simple interface. It gives you the list of all your partitions, hard drives, SD cards and so on. So here is our EOS Digital XFAT. So mark it and press start and the program will start scanning it. Yes, I want to give the permission for that because that's exactly what I want to do. The cool part about that recovery program is that you can download it for free. You can scan your SD card, you can even recover up to 8 files completely for free and only after you see what the application can recover from your SD card you can buy the license and recover your files. That's a really cool option because you don't have to risk your money in advance. While we are waiting the card to be scanned let me tell you the amazing giveaway we organized with iMyPhone and recovery software. There are two license codes for macOS for free. You can find details about the giveaway in the description so Make sure you check it out because you can get your free license to recover your SD card. The scan just finished and it's success. We press OK and let's see what it will recover. On the right side you can see organize the folder. So we have recovered 10 photos, we have recovered 185 videos, we have one document, I don't know at all what is that, archive and others. Ooh, these are my raw files, the CR3 are my raw images from the Canon. So it recovered quite a lot. I even don't know what are those photos. So let's recover all the photos and see how it works. I'm curious to see the photos. From the list you can mark a single photo or you can mark directly the whole folder. There is one thing you should know about all recovery softwares. They don't know the file names and they generate the file names automatically. They don't know what the file name used to be in the past because the card was formatted and that data was lost. The file is there, all the information is there but the file name is gone. So first you have to recover your file and only then you can see what the file was. That's why all the JPEGs are named 0102, all the videos are again 0506. So let's recover the photos, I don't need that icon here, I don't need that file, so we have 8 JPEGs. Let's click recover, would like to access your files on the desktop folder. Okay, 
So it's asking me where to recover them. Let's put them in the download folder, create one folder, recovery, open. Yeah! So here is the first one. Okay, I'm smiling here. Here is the second image from Bali. Okay, here is the third one. Beautiful me with the camera. Let's see what more we recovered. So, oh, that's the night sky, uh, night sky, night sky of Garmish. I was doing a time lapse here. Really turned great. And then, oh, we have some video thumbnails here. Okay, those are the JPEGs. Using that application is very straightforward. Insert the SD card, scan it, recover the files, you're done. Now don't forget to smile because I'm sure that you're gonna recover your files. Check out some of my other videos, they're really cool. I have a lot of travel, photography, videography and crazy tutorials on my channel. And see you in the next episode.